on the bosom of the eternal God. I bow before the fragrance of your opening petals. In gratitude for the opportunity afforded me to bring to you my love. Blessed souls of light, you have lived millions of years. If I could part the veil this morning and let you see that electronic stream flowing downward into your head, out through your heart, filling your aura, contacting each person within this room, and flooding the city, you would have some concept of the energy that even unconsciously passed from your body while you were at repose and at peace. Not to mind when you invoke those energies with a positive and dynamic will or accomplishment of one kind or another. And you have learned now not to invoke those energies to hurt life. You have within yourselves determined to become harmless. But those energies yet must return home. It is the law of your life. And here is a comforting thought. You can stop it at any moment. You don't have to make the great sacrifice all at once as I did. You chose to do so. You stood before the Lord of the world and said, I shall sanctify the circle of my life through love. May I refer for a moment to your beautiful violet consuming flame? In the East, we have called it the flame of compassion and mercy. It is of such tremendous assistance in this redemption of energy. I wonder if it has been pointed out to you the approach of the soul required before that flame is set into action. That is a flame by which you intend to purify your own miscreation. And it is joyously and vigorously employed. But first, set your own house in order. Forgive and balance your energies toward life before you use it. My son has said, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Great numbers have gathered together and in the power of that flame have asked for relief. But how many have first entered into that secret heart chamber and forgiven all of life. That is the efficacy in its use for you, my dear and sweet and earnest, lovely flowers in God's kingdom. It shall be done unto you according as you do unto others. And this violet consuming flame has not been manifested in its full efficacy by any of my beloved St. Germain's children. Because the light stream has not taken time to become the mercy flame first. 
in feeling and in thought. You see, the law, my precious heart, is so impersonal and yet so practical. What you wish for others, you must give. First, and then you shall receive. You are desirous of knowing freedom. And precious hearts that have suffered bodily distress and mental confusion. If they could but forgive life, could then through the use of this flame be free in less than an hour.